Hello guys, today I have a demo of team multi-tenancy in Quick Admin Panel based on a few questions that I received on YouTube and via email. For example, this one, how to create departments with super admins and different roles and stuff like that. So in this video, as a result, we will talk about invitations, how to invite a member to your team, how to create the teams, what is an owner of the team and how to customize the team management. In this case, it will be Livewire component to change the role for any user of your team and that viewer will be a custom role that we will create in the process. By the end of this video, I hope you will understand how Quick Admin Panel works in terms of multi-tenancy with teams and how to customize it to your needs. Let's dive in. So we start with creating a new project within Quick Admin Panel. And for that video, I will choose Livewire and Tailwind, the latest version. But technically, it should work with any version because the multi-tenancy module is in all of those versions. So we create, for example, let's call it Teams and then everything is by default and we'll wait for the code to be generated, or in fact, we don't have to wait. It is generated in the background. What we need to do is install a module multi-tenancy. It is in the list here. We install and we choose specifically T multi-tenancy version. We install, and then the code is still generated in the background. It doesn't really matter to us. We create one CRUD. Let's create a simple CRUD with one field and let's call it tasks. For example, every task will have name, for example, or description, let's call it name with text with required field. And that's it. And we need to enable the multi-tenancy here. The checkbox is use multi-tenancy. We save that here and we wait for writing files to be completed. And the final thing that we need from the quick admin panel generator for this example is to install another module called registration. So by default, the admin panel is restricted only for login. But if you want people to register themselves, you can install the registration with some optional settings, but I will not enable them in this time. And now we can download the code locally and then we will customize it. We will work on the teams and owners and creating all of that and roles as well. So I will download the code now, download full code. Here you have a typical instruction. It's a typical Laravel project, by the way. So you do ENV file composer install artisan migrate and all of that. And you log in with default credentials. So this is exactly what it will do now. So here I am in my local terminal unarchive the project and launch successfully migration and composer installed before that. And when I launch that project locally powered by my Laravel valet for the testing domain project three dot test, I'm redirected to login form and I will log in as administrator with default credentials. And what we need to do now is create two teams with their owners. So we go to user management users first, and we will create two users first owner one with owner one owner one.com role will be a user. So it's not administrator. It will be a user, but owner of their own team and we save same thing with owner two. I have that pre-populated because I've done it already in the background while testing this project. So roles user, and now we have two users. Now let's create the teams for them. And those passwords for the users should be sent manually or via email or something like that in this case, but the invitations for the users, it would be automatic. I will show you that in a minute. So let's create team one with owner one as a user, and then team two with owner two as an owner. And now let's log in with owner one and invite users to my system. Before we do that, we need to register as user because currently our system works in a way that you can invite a user that already exists in the system. So I log out, I click register, fake filler Chrome extension, and let's copy that email. I register, so I'm inside, but I don't have my team yet. But if I'm logged in as owner, for example, owner one, I log in, I go to my team, and now I can invite new members. So let's paste that email. I will click invite member, but before I do that, let's configure the email. And did you know that you can configure in your ENV file to change the default mail mailer from SMTP to log, and then all your emails will go to storage logs, Laravel log file. So let's do that. And we have invitation sent. Now let's go to our storage logs, Laravel log, and we have this message. So Laravel invited you to the team and there should be a link somewhere here inside. So let's take plain text version. And here we have the link, which we need to click while logged in as a user that we had just registered with. 
So let's do that. So I'm logged in with that user. And now if I click the link of accepting the invitation, now I have accepted the team. And now if I create the task as a simple user, only my team will see that task. So let's just do whatever, save. And then if I log in, for example, as owner two, I will not see that task in the task list. So owner two with the password, I log in, I go to the tasks and I don't see the tasks from other team. And if I invite my users to the team two, they also won't see the tasks from the team one. So that's the core how team multi-tenancy works. Now let's customize some of things. For example, let's say that as an owner, we want to manage the roles of our users. By default, they are all just simple users, but let's create a separate role and we will manage the live wire component for this page to be able to change the user's role. So we log in as administrator, as global administrator to have roles, to manage roles, and we go to user management, roles. And we have admin and user by default. And let's add another role called viewer, which will access only tasks for show. So not delete, edit, and create, only show. So add a role, viewer, profile, let it be enabled. And then we go task access for the full task menu and then task show. That's it. We save. Now we go back to the owner form and go to my team and let's transform that badge into clickable things. In the live wire component for that, there's my team form blade. The component is my team form. And in here we have for each of the rows, we show the badge. Instead of doing that, let's show for each of all the rows possible, for each all rows as role, for example, we show that badge and for each, and that all rows will be defined in the mount of the component. So for example, public all roles, and in the mount we'll have this, all roles would be role where ID is not one, which is not admin, ID not one, so I cannot assign administrator roles, get, and in here we'll have role title, good, so we for now comment this out and let's refresh the page. We have user and viewer, not clickable yet. Now let's make them clickable. First, let's make the active badge. So team member roles, we will show badge relationship class only if team member roles contains, contains role ID. From what I remember, the syntax of collection method and if let's refresh. And great, we have user, but the viewer is not active. Great, and now let's make them clickable. So in addition to span, we'll have a href like this and wire click prevent. Let's call the function toggle user role with two parameters, team member ID and role ID. So we have toggle user roles here and let's make that in new line like this, let's refresh. Great, we have both clickable. For now, nothing happens because we don't have that method, right? Let's create that toggle user role with two parameters of user ID and role ID. At the very end, public function toggle user role, user ID, role ID. And here we will check whether we need to detach that role or attach that role. It's a many to many relationship in role user table. So if user, but first we need the user, right? So user equals user with roles find by user ID, right? If user roles contains role ID, then we detach that. So user roles detach like this, I think we need this and this, detach role ID, otherwise we attach that. So user roles attach. I'm not sure if it would work, let's refresh and find out. Refresh, let's click the viewer. Okay, contains is not on the relationship, so let's refresh now and click viewer. And we have the viewer active, let's click user, we have changed the call-in role from user to viewer, or we can have both. So this is an example how you can customize the team roles in the generated code.
Of course, you can do many more customizations and changes to the logic according to your project needs. Maybe you want the invitations to work in a different way. Maybe you have different roles. Maybe the structure of your team is different. So that's up to you to dive into the code, whether it's Livewire component in this case, or you may choose Quick Admin Panel version of jQuery with Laravel if you're not familiar with Livewire and customize the code to your needs. In Quick Admin Panel, we generate the code for a majority of the cases. So like the core, I like to call it like 80% of what you need. And then you dive into the code. It's a typical Laravel code, so you don't need to learn any syntax of new language. You don't need to learn the syntax of Quick Admin Panel or any other package. You just continue coding Laravel. That's it for this video, and I hope you try our Quick Admin Panel with or without team multi-tenancy, and see you guys in another video.